Hi there. It's March the 14th and we're continuing our journey through the Torah. We're in the book of Numbers and today we're in chapters 21 and 22. It's continuing the narrative uh, of the children of Israel traveling around the desert. In chapter 21, there's an occasion where uh, the people of Israel complain again, yet another complaint to the people of Israel. And this time they are facing a plague of snakes, snakes that bite them, snakes that bite them so hard, so badly that they die. And they appeal to God and Moses intercedes for them. And God tells them to raise up uh, a pole with a brass serpent on it. And this brass serpent will be the token, will be the sign that God will heal them. And when they look at this brass snake, they live. And so Moses does this and the plague is stayed. Now also in chapter 21, there are three encounters that happen uh, either side of this plague of snakes. Um, the first one is the king of Arad uh, kidnaps some of the Israelites and through God's intervention, they're able to recover those hostages. And then later in the chapter, two great victories that are celebrated for long years after in Israel. The uh, victories over Sihon, a king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan. And in these, both these situations, God gives them the power and the ability to overcome against the odds. And these are victories that are recorded then in the annals for a long to come, mentioned in Psalms and so on, for long to come ahead in the history of Israel. Now, in chapter 22, perhaps because of these great victories and because of these uh, wipeouts that have happened with, with uh, Bashan and, and, uh, and the Amorites, um, the Balak, who is the king of Moab, gets concerned and he, he reverts to or resorts to a, a spiritual way of dealing with the Israelites. He wants a prophet to come and curse them. And so he calls on Balaam. And Balaam is from the north, from probably Mesopotamia area, but he obviously is somewhat prophet who speaks in the name of God uh, because he hears from God. And Balak sends messengers, he sends leaders uh, to ask Balaam to come and to curse the people. But God tells Balaam that these people are blessed. And so Balaam sends back a message to Balak saying, I can't curse what God has blessed. I can only speak what God, what the Lord gives me to speak. And so Balak is really annoyed with this. He's really upset. And he basically sends to um, Balaam and he says, I'll give you as much as you want. I'll give all the treasure in my house. If only you will come and curse this people. And of course, Balaam sticks with what he said. And he said, look, you could give me everything you have. But if God has spoken, I cannot come. And then he finally, at the end of our reading today, consults God and God says, OK, you can go with them. But God is going to do something surprising. And God is actually going to end up turning, not cursing the people, but turning that to blessing. It's amazing how God intends to bless his people. And what we see from this, uh, these encounters that we're going to see with tomorrow with Balaam, uh, that God cannot, we cannot have a curse where God has pronounced a blessing. Where God blesses, none can curse. And when we're in God's hands, he overcomes amazing odds and keeps us safe in his love. Have a good March the 14th.